What's up guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to install and use G-Snap on Audacity. This is a free auto-tune software so it's great for beginners, this is what I started with and I definitely recommend it if you're just getting started. So first thing you're going to want to do is open a Google browser and search up G-Snap. Oops, G-Snap. <clears throat> Alright, click the first one. And if you're on Windows, download the 64-bit. If you're on Mac, just download this one. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download this one. And boom, it downloaded. Next thing you want to do, pull up your files. Right-click on this top one, the .dll, and copy it. After that, go to your C drive. Program Files 86, click Audacity, Plugins, right click over here, and paste. I already have it in so I don't have to worry about it, but just press Accept and let it install into your 86 program files. After you've done that, you're going to want to open Audacity. There it is. Um, all right, I'll just put a track in. This isn't necessary, but I'm gonna show you guys how to use it too. So there's a stereo track. All right, so after you got G-Snap installed into your program files, 86, you're gonna wanna go to effects, add, remove plugins, and then go down to G-Snap. Where is it? There it is. Go to G-Snap and make sure it's enabled. You'll, you'll press it right here. Press OK once that's done. And boom, there you got G-Snap. You might have to restart Audacity after that. I don't think you do, but just in case, you might want to do that. So there's G-Snap right there. Here it is. Basically, this is the only knob I really mess with, and that's your speed. Selecting the scale is also very important too. You want to make sure you pick the scale of the song. I have a video on how to find the key of the song right here. Make sure you press that if you want to learn how to find it. But yeah, make sure you click the right key of the song. For example, let's say it's G minor, you do that. And depending on how much auto tune you want, you can crank up the speed. 20 is usually the best, it's going to correct your voice the most. And with G-Snap, it's not too much auto-tune, it's more of like an audio pitch correction. So keep that in mind, and then you press apply after. It also lets you sample it to see how it's going to sound with all these effects on. Definitely recommend using G-Snap for beginners. Make sure to drop a like on this video if this was useful, and subscribe for more vids like this. I also got a bunch of tutorials. There's an Audacity tutorial right here that will teach you how to mix a song from scratch. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.